What's going on guys? This is me Ying and welcome back again to my channel and today I'm going to make an unboxing and review of our product here, the Halo GT7. And actually I'm having a hard time looking for this earbuds it's because it's kind of sold out in the local market so you need to order it online. And guys, before I start this video, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe now and we're going to start the unboxing and review of this video. So here we go guys! And this is the box of the Halo GT7. We have the battery case, two extra pair of ear tips, Type-C connector, and documentation. Let's see what the battery can do. Now the battery case is having the 310 milliampere and there's a USB-C port there on the side. It consists of a magnetic lead cover so that the earbuds will not fall down. Now the weight of the Halo GT7 is having the 42 grams and each of the earbud is having the 4 grams, a total of 9 grams, so around 4.5 each of the earbuds. And let's see how does it charge. So all you need to do is try to charge it with the Type-C and you can see a steady LED light. And even the earbuds is having the steady LED light. Now let's take a look at the earbuds of the Halo GT7. Now the earbuds of the Halo GT7, here you can see the two charging points and at the bottom you can see the mic of the earbuds. And on top of the stem, you can see the touch sensor. And comparing to the Halo W1, so it's the in-ear is almost alike, but the stem is kind of different. Plus, the W1 is having the metallic shape compared to the silicone mesh in the Halo GT7. In the bottom part of the stem, both are having the mic. So I think this is kind of interesting. Now let's try to listen to the music. But before that, let's try to pair our Halo GT7 into our phone. The first connection is you need to manually connect it and once you remove the earbuds from the battery case you can see the bluetooth connection the halo gt7 with the logo of the earbuds and in the second connection it will automatically connect now the gt7 supports the bluetooth 5.0 to have a fast and steady connectivity right so we have connected our halo gt7 and i'm so excited to you to show you the sound quality of these earbuds but let me try to wear it first right so here the right and also the left right so i can hear now the pairing and let's try to wiggle a bit our head okay right so it doesn't fall down right so mild exercise is also accepted into this earbud so if you have a bigger ear much better for smaller ear you might need to consider to change the ear tips and now we're going to see the sound quality Okay, so I really enjoy that so much and let's try to put the uh, earbuds here, okay? So guys, when it comes to the sound quality, I would say that if you are a bass head person, this earbud is not good for you. It has a very strong treble sound, it's because of the coil driver. Well, it has an AAC codec, so what is good with this sound quality is because of the vocals here. It's very sharp and if you love guitar, you're going to fall in love with this earbuds because this is very good when it comes to the acoustics, live music, and also disco sounds. All right, guys? So next is let's go for the mic testing. So here we go. Hello, this is the mic test of the Halo GT7 testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Again, this is the mic test of the Halo GT7. And this is what you hear during the mic test. Hey, guys, this is me testing the mic of the Halo GT7. I think 1234, 1234 again, my test of the Halo GT7. Trying to show you all around Hong Kong here. So uh, let's go try to let you see here. Okay, can you hear me okay? So I hope it's clear. Having this AI noise cancellation mic from the Halo GT3. Right, guys? So hope you like the mic and let's go back to. Our phone. Bye bye. Right, so that was the mic testing of our earbuds. So, as you can see, there's a huge difference here compared to the other earbuds because this Halo GT7 is having the AI noise cancellation. So, what is this? If you try to replay this video from the outdoor mic test, every time I speak, you can only hear the noise environment, but every time I stop speaking, there's a noise cancellation. So, wow, Halo 
congratulations because I have never seen a technology like this and guys you need to grab this if you are looking for a very good noise cancellation and every time you talk there's only a noise that you can hear guys all right now next is we're going to test the latency of this earbuds so here we go all right so here is the latency of our earbuds so we're using a gaming phone together with a halo gt7 this is the game mode off there you go so that's our first latency 634 milliseconds again 634 milliseconds and last is 634 milliseconds tapping the two times there in the left earbud will activate the game mode and there you go 570 milliseconds 570 milliseconds and 508 milliseconds that's a half second of a, a time there right guys so that was the latency test of our halo gt7 well this is kind of normal it's because it has a game mode around half second there so if you're looking for a good latency this is earbuds is also having the game mode please grab it guys especially when you're trying to play your pubg mobile and also other games so it is also recommended this earbuds now next is Let's go to the water resistant level. Now the earbuds doesn't have a water resistant certificate or IP rating certificate, but I would tell you that most of the Halo earbuds here is having a water resistant level, but they have skipped the IP rating certificate. But make sure not to just wet these earbuds because these earbuds is not actually a waterproof. So please be careful guys, right? Now when it comes to the tapping, I have no problem with it. So if you are having the Halo W1, it's almost same except that this earbud is having the game mode and also it depends also in your phone if you're having a redmi and also ai the google assistant will be different compared to our android phone right guys and the halo gt7 it's actually very simple so this is like a pebble there and if you try to open the battery case you cannot see any label of the specs and even the battery life on it you can see it and uh, I like it so much, it's very simple. So if you like this earbuds, are very simple and very plain. You need to grab the Halo GT7. And last but not the least is the price. How much did I bought it? Around 20 to 25 US dollars. That includes on the shipment. Now it doesn't have a wireless charge. It doesn't have any application, but it's really worth it when you try this earbuds. It's because it has a good sound quality when it comes to the acoustic sounds. And also when it comes to the vocals, I love it so much. When it comes to the mic quality, there's an AI noise isolation. And when it comes to the latency test, the mic is also competitive when you're trying to talk to your teammate when it comes to the sound. It's very clear. Low latency of the GT7 is having the game mode. So you're definitely gonna enjoy playing your PUBG Mobile and other apps games, guys, right? So let me know what you think about this video and also what you think about the Halo GT7. And guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe now and see you in my next unboxing. Bye.